my uh, experience uh, of uh, dealing with uh, high blood pressure without medications. Uh, so the, the story there is simple. Like for a big company, I uh, got a lot of uh, stress in my uh, late uh, 40s. And um, as a result of uh, this uh, stress, uh, developed uh, high blood pressure. The doctor suggested that actually I consider adjusting my uh, lifestyle and um, uh, rather than being so stressed out, I should figure out how, first of all, how to calm down with, uh, <clears throat> with uh, breathing exercises, with meditation, and then move to uh, moderate aerobic activity, which actually I did. I managed to fix my high blood pressure within uh, within one year, uh, doing primarily breathing exercises, meditation, and uh, moderate aerobic exercise. And uh, that's how I decided uh, to start uh, our YouTube channel, our TikTok channel, and the blood pressure app, uh, Breath Now, which uh, actually consolidates all uh, the learnings which I developed um, fixing my own blood pressure. So uh, we're a really small uh, company. We're based uh, in the UK. Uh, we work uh, closely with the University of uh, Cambridge. We have, our, uh, we have a, a PhD uh, in cardiology on our uh, team. And so that person uh, helped us to uh, uh, design a program which is uh, scientifically based and uh, which helps uh, to lower blood pressure without medications. They will uh, lower their stress, they uh, will uh, lower their blood pressure, they will increase their cardio fitness, and um, uh, that would lead to a lower biological age. Uh, so how do I know this? Uh, it, I know this because uh, these things have been scientifically proven. There are uh, several papers on each of these topics. And so those are peer-reviewed papers in um, uh, very nice scientific publications, and, and, and we referenced uh, these papers uh, several times, both in Breath Now app and uh, also in um, in our YouTube channel, TikTok channel. Get out how to do a consequence of these uh, activities, uh, being it slow breathing, meditation, uh, walking, walking in nature, and uh, training which are all uh, linked uh, together. So each of these elements is uh, well known to produce positive results. But if you combine them together, then the, uh, the multiplier actually becomes even more than one plus one plus one. So that's how we uh, decided, to, and that, that's why we decided to create this um, uh, blood pressure app, Breath Now. Now, the reason I know that this stuff works is that uh, between the uh, app, YouTube channel, TikTok channel, we have over 100,000 users so far. And um, uh, if you look at any of these things, being it App Store or being it YouTube channel or being a TikTok channel, you will, th you will see that there are hundreds of uh, positive reviews from our users. Number one popular question is, what is the science behind this program? Uh, so, so basically, as I've said, there are several scientific papers which uh, references are provided on our YouTube channel and uh, in our app. And actually, they show that uh, certain uh, actions like uh, slow breathing, meditation, uh, they have positive impact on um, blood pressure and on stress. Uh, and things like uh, short high intensity interval training have uh, positive impact on uh, cardio fitness. Now, the other, uh, some other papers show that these three things actually are very closely linked. So stress is linked to blood pressure, blood pressure is linked uh, uh, to cardio fitness, cardio fitness is linked to biological age. So basically as we work on uh, one of those items, we automatically improve to other items, which makes it a very efficient program. Now, uh, second question is, uh, can you fix high blood pressure without uh, medication? And uh, the answer to this is absolutely yes. Uh, as I mentioned in my personal case, uh, I did fix uh, my uh, stage one hypertension uh, without medications in less than a year. So it can be done. Uh, and there is also a research which we uh, reference, which shows that uh, this can be, uh, it has been proven uh, to, uh, that it can be done. Now, 
I do not propose that uh, you stop taking medications if you were prescribed to take medications. Obviously, you should work uh, very closely with your doctor. And in the ideal case, uh, you would talk to them about uh, Breath Now program and uh, suggest them to link, um, uh, basically to figure out how to link this program with your current treatment plan. Popular question number four is uh, uh, whether you can measure blood pressure with a smartphone or uh, Apple Watch. And uh, the answer to both of these questions is uh, negative. As of, uh, uh, as of uh, current time, which is June 2023, you cannot uh, measure blood pressure with a smartphone. Uh, you can measure your heart rate, you can measure stress with, uh, uh, with different applications, applying finger to the back of your uh, uh, phone's camera but it doesn't work for blood pressure. So same applies to Apple Watch. So you can not measure blood pressure with Apple Watch as of uh, June 2023. Uh, you can track blood pressure, and that's exactly what Breath Now app does. Uh, you can see what activities help you to lower blood pressure. You can do some of these activities uh, with the help of iPhone or um, uh, Apple Watch, like, like breathing. Uh, for example, exercises or meditation. Number five, uh, and that is about uh, inhaling and uh, or exhaling through the nose or mouth while doing uh, uh, slow breathing exercises. And the story there is very simple. So inhaling through the nose is always better because as we breathe in uh, through the nose, uh, we help our bodies to produce more substance, which is called the nitric oxide. It's, it's a substance which um, helps uh, to lower blood pressure because it helps to dilate blood vessels and hence our blood pressure comes down. And uh, uh, nitric oxide is uh, released primarily in our bodies as we, or produced in our bodies as we breathe through the nose. It's significantly higher volumes as compared to us inhaling through the mouth. Now, Exhaling is a different story, and uh, it, it really doesn't matter when you do uh, when you do breathing exercises whether you exhale through your nose or mouth. Um, frequently, should blood pressure be monitored? And uh, the, the answer there is is is, is quite simple. Most uh, doctors recommend to take uh, two blood pressure readings, one in the morning and the other one in a late afternoon or early evening. It's better to do them before uh, your meals because the results will be more accurate. It is better to do it at the same time because again, you need to track your history to share with your doctor. And um, uh, so hence measuring blood pressure at the same time you know, actually is a really good um, idea. And uh, so what I personally do, and actually I know a lot of people do the same, they measure their blood pressure uh, just before having a breakfast um, and uh, they also uh, take the blood pressure just before having a dinner. And the question from the audience is, uh, when blood pressure readings are high and breathing exercises bring it down, how is it different from taking a medicine? Well, as we discussed, um, as we discussed before, uh, uh, both uh, tools, methane and slow breathing, uh, do produce an um, um, effect of lowering blood pressure. And the difference, of course, is that uh, uh, medicine would, uh, is, is likely to have side effects, but uh, the action of lowering blood pressure probably will be a, a bit uh, longer as compared to breathing exercises. And of course, uh, if, if you have a pretty serious uh, situation with your blood pressure, uh, taking uh, medication would help you to bring it down faster as compared to breathing exercises. Um, uh, and, uh, and as we discussed before, obviously, if you're taking medications, you should continue doing so, at least until you talk to your doctor. But um, again, in, in my case and in the case of uh, many other people I spoke to, if uh, someone uh, experiences stage uh, 1, um, uh, level 1 uh, hypertension, and uh, it's, it's, you probably can get away without... Uh, medications uh, if you manage your uh, life change and uh, life changes sort of life changes and uh, um, slow breathing meditation are great tools to deliver it and uh, it's very easy to test you uh, take blood pressure measurement uh, then you do one of these exercises and take blood pressure uh, measurement again and 90% uh, of the people see immediate uh, positive difference
Question number three from the audience. Uh, how does one move from uh, lowering blood pressure readings that are high to maintaining low blood pressure readings? What you need to do is uh, really uh, figure out uh, how to um, address the uh, agency of the situation. And uh, uh, in many cases, uh, like certainly was in my case, when I learned that I have a heart tension, I started to, to panic. And the first thing which you need to do is to figure out that uh, uh, basically you are in, in control. And uh, medications, yes, they will help. But again, we need to remember that uh, medications just address the symptoms. They dilate your blood vessels, blood pressure comes down, but then medications um, yeah, basically get out of the body. With... However, if you learn how to relax in a systematic way as a first step, and then you introduce uh, moderate aerobic exercise uh, and then high-intensity exercise into your life routines, then you train your cardiovascular system and you um, help fixing the problem, problem long term. And if you want to try a blood pressure app, Breath Now, please uh, do it as well. Uh, most of the functions are free. And uh, yeah, I would love to get your feedback. Thanks very much. Uh, stay healthy.